Good morning. Here we are in Central California. Oh, I want to claim that it's autumn, but um, today's supposed to be, it's sunny, obviously, but it's supposed to be in the 70s, so that's pretty amazing. Now, this is what happens when I proclaim it's autumn, then what happens is, is uh, it always turns out gets one more, you know, hot streak of 100. So we're going to cross our fingers like this, crossing our fingers, that it is autumn. Well, we had a huge windstorm. I'm going to add it at the end of the tape so you can see the devastation. We had a windstorm Monday, I think it was. And if you follow me on social media, you saw that. Well, this windstorm, uh, there was no, it was, I can't remember if it was cloudy. I think there, it was just crazy winds. I forget how fast, but most, a lot of people around town lost big tree, big tree limbs fell. And in our yard, I was sitting there stitching and I heard the biggest bang. And I said, oh no, there was a big bang to my husband. And then uh, we looked, we couldn't figure it out, but then we realized it was a palm tree in the backyard, fell over and hit the, uh, hit our shed. Now we're thankful it didn't hit us, but man, I thought palm trees were going to, you know, you know how in those movies, like those hurricane movies where they're blowing almost to the ground. Yeah, I mean, I thought they were supposed to be like that. But um, I'll put the video at the end if you'd like to see that. So that was big happenings. So tomorrow, I think it is, we have some guys coming over to help us clear it out. Now, so we were thinking, okay, well, we'll just put this on our house insurance. Yeah, for some reason this year. Now, why does this happen, y'all? This year, we raised the deductible to $5,000. Well, so the uh, appraiser estimated it'd be around that, so there was no use in using the, the insurance. Oh, my gosh. Can you believe that? So, luckily, we have some nice people at the church, some guys that are going to come over and help us demolish it. So, yeah, that's the way it is. Anyway, so we're, uh, it's sunny, nice. Like I said, in the 70s, I'll take that. And uh, I have three rolls here, and this has been, we've been talking about this for possibly a year. I can't remember exactly how long uh, for this late, for, for a customer named Catherine, and she wanted for her family for Christmas and two daughters, and she might have to have one for her uh, daughter-in-law, I believe it is, but she hasn't decided about that. So I hope, I hope Catherine for the, the I hope you don't give this to your daughter-in-law. I hope you keep it for yourself. And if I'm able to, and you want to ask me, I can try and make her one. But it's possible. I don't know how well you know her, but, you know, it's possible. Sometimes the things we like are not the things that our daughters or daughter-in-laws like. <laughs> so anyway. Uh, so here, this is the first one. This is a blue and white one. This one's for Catherine. And I'm so excited about these. Uh, there will be an added surprise on each roll, but I'm not going to tell you what they are on here. You'll just... You'll see it. I thought they went along with each person. So this might be a long video, and I'm sorry if it is. Most of these things, uh, Catherine sent me all of her, all of the things from her family that were sort of she would like incorporated. And so super sweet, right? And so most of the fabrics were hers. And occasionally there's some of my things I've added. But uh, so, yeah, I, I, it's really fun. So here we go. This is the blue. This one was for blue and white. Now <laughs> I take the roll out, put it over here. You don't need to really see it. So look at the bag. This was her fabric. I love this fabric. Um, <laughs> I have to say, do you see this cute little birdie I made? <laughs> I decided I want to use the real feathers. So I have a friend in Australia, Donna. Hi, Donna. I know you watch all the time. She brought, sent me a bunch of feathers from Australia. And I thought, oh, I'm going to, I wanted to put them on. So I, I put them down here as the birdie's tail. <laughs> And so these are Australian bird feathers. So I don't know, maybe you're excited about that. I don't know the birds. Maybe in the comments, she'll write down what the birds are so we can all know. So it's like a stripedy one and a polka dotty one and another stripedy one. And then just a down feather, it looks like, and a darker feather, which I don't know. Um, and then this is your sweater that you sent from your, um, your uh, husband, I think it was. Uh, so I just made a bird up. There you go. Not much to say about that. On the inside is some of that beautiful, um, what did you call this? Um, I got to cut that. Oh, oh, I hit you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I always feel like, oh, no. Um, 
I might have to just do this later. This is like my lame scissors. Anyway, uh, this is the blue-green fabric on the other one. Oh, I love this fabric. So um, I just put it on the inside. Oh, and here are the grapes. She sent some grapes that I think her a grandmother or her mother or someone crocheted. So um, they were so big and fat. I did not get them on everybody's roll. They just were too big. You had a lot of requests and a lot of those things were just too crazy for me to put on. Um, but I, I put it on here. I kind of made up what I think a grape because they had two big, three big grape leaves and there's no way. I mean, it just, they're so big and so thick. So I just made up what my own little grape cluster looks like in my mind out of your stuff. So, uh, so here, that's the first, that's the first bag. So now we have the beautiful roll. Is it so cute? Um, I know you guys, you guys, everybody wants me to always, I'll, I'll uh, measure it after. Um, as you can see, it's pretty overflowing. <laughs> so I'm going to bring you in a bit and see if we can do that like this. We'll go like this. Maybe just, I'm going to try and get it so that it's all like, like that. here we go. Okay. So let's see if it, it looks like it will. Let's see what looks better. If that looks good or I have a ring light. I'm not sure sometimes if it's better or not. I don't know. I think it looks a little better. I should open the blinds, but then I think it'll be too bright. All right, so um, here we go. So we'll start. We'll start at the beginning. Huh? Start at the end. Not the dumb. Okay, so uh, this is a chiffon fabric. This wasn't. In, this wasn't hers. This is white chiffon I purchased, and I thought it looks pretty and airy. So um, let's go this way. It looks like this way it goes this way. So she gave me, and I forget, it, I'm really sorry uh, if I can't remember every, what you say about every little thing. I, I have some stuff written down that, <laughs> I have it written down, I promise. Where'd it go? Oh, sometimes I'm insane. Let me look under here. No. Well, why do I do this? <laughs> so maybe I'll remember, wait a minute. This is crazy. I had it right here. It was right here with everything for papers and everything. Oh, sometimes. Oh, wait, it fell on the ground. That's why. Okay, here we got it. And this is here. Believe me, I have pages and pages of stuff. So you like look. Okay, so here we go. So now this one, I think, well, she'll know. I, I don't know. This is something that she had for... Um, and one of the, someone did it in her family. I don't know. She sent this. She also sent this tatting, um, this S. And she knows probably grandmother or something. She wanted stars. Um, you know, I put a lot of stuff on here, uh, Catherine. So I, I don't know. You know, the, I got this little star. So she wanted blue and white. And I really tried hard to stick to mostly blue and white, which I'm proud of myself. Because usually there's a lot. Now, I couldn't help this. This is something that you sent in a, you know, there was a crochet. I forget who did the cross stitch. But obviously there's green and gold. I can't help that. <laughs> so now, uh, let's see. What do we got here? This is just little, just drawings. I don't know. This is a little uh, four leaf, a little clover. And if you can see it there, I hope you can. Right there. Uh, let's get my thing because my nails, I've been doing so much today. Clover right here. This is Irish lace that I purchased myself. So there's a lot of this scattered around on all the pieces because I know you like the Irish stuff. Now I had a piece of, you said you liked white on white. Hope the camera can do justice with this. This is a piece of a wedding dress or something and it had fake, you know, had glass or pearls on it. But I took out the glass pearls. I put all real freshwater pearls because I happen to have them, because I had done jewelry a lot in my before life. <laughs> and I can still do jewelry. I just haven't done a lot of it. So this is all from a wedding dress, white and white. And then I put these beautiful, these are all freshwater pearls. And it still had, I kept the sequins where I still had it on here. I kept the sequins that were on the wedding dress. So I all, I hand sewed them all. Uh, this is also some more. Now I, let's see, I'll look that up again. This is, let's see here. I make notes on my paper. Look, uh, Lori B, look, I'm using your paper here. <laughs> okay, so um, let's see here. The big button, I told you that was a pearl, freshwater pearl, and look at the patina. Let's see if we can get it. It's really beautiful. 
it's like a pearl from the mid-century early to mid 20th century or earlier uh let's see the pearls are real i said that vintage hat so this the vintage handmade crocheted lace is well i'll get to that this is this is the antique irish lace and this so this was a big piece of it i just put on here like that so that's all irish lace that was mine i put underneath it that um old that old uh veil so it had you know most of it gets covered up but it had these i there's two of these on here the rhinestones so i just made a flower out of them um, I kept one of these. I hope you don't mind because, look, I want to put it on something for me because <laughs> uh, I love that. Um, it's this she sent. These are all the little flower gardens, is, you know, all of my stuff. Um, this is a super old button. I meant to find. I couldn't find when I got it. It was probably last year sometime. I think I got three of them. I was going to, I don't know if you remember my one. I think it was my, oh, well, if you follow me somewhere, I asked if on a on something I made how it looked. And it went to Sarah in Australia, um, Sarah Roxbury, Rachel's sister. Uh, but we all decided it was too much. So I think there might have been one on there. But I, so I had like two or so left. I don't even know if I have any more. But I saw this in the thing. I put that on there for a little flower. Pretty, pretty. So that's special, special. This is pearl, pearl, and dyed pearl, 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 pearl. These are little ribbon flowers. And then the, this rhinestone is part of that old veil that I purchased. This is also pearl. Um, so let's go back to this. This she asked me to put on, and it was her dad's. Let's see what she called it. It was her dad's. Uh, um, I feel bad if I don't keep talking. Dad's Civil Air Patrol insignia this and then down the line there's more of it so so i put that on uh there the little birdie i don't know if you ever told me what the birdie was but i love the birdie <laughs> this is what's mine it's got a k i think there might be a u too but hey it's a k <laughs> these are old uh lingerie medallions from this one i think is swiss or yeah i think that one's uh from the switch they're either swiss or french <laughs> Uh, so then these are, we'll get into the little, these little cute guys here. These are all vintage um, suffix puffs. That was all in my collection. And uh, over here is part of that. Uh, let me think if this is part of this lace. I don't think it is. I think this might be your stuff. That's what happens. This is some beautiful uh, Australian wool uh, from Donna. Hi, Donna. <laughs> Okay, and so then up here, let's see, can, what can you see? This is the, this, so she wanted some crosses, so I just put the crosses here. Um, this is the rest of that insignia. Uh, so I hope I got the right way up. My husband and I talked about it, and it seems like that's the way the wings would go. <laughs> this is your little doggy you want on here. This is more the Irish lace with little teeny, teeny um, clovers. I'm looking, oh, here, this is your dad's or your husband's sweater. It seems like that was wool. I like that. Uh, so I think I want to make sure I get everything in here. And then there's my thing. Now, this was part of your, <laughs> this was part of a, a hang, oh, handkerchief. Yeah, I think it was a handkerchief. And it had this on there. And I don't know what it says. Made in Australia. I liked it because I liked how the color looked and I just left it on and sewed it on. <laughs> so it's like that. Um, this is one of those little heart. That was your heart um, applique thing. I really like that. Uh, oh, I think I caught everything. This is super old. Um, I think they called it hand cut work lace or something they used to make. Okay, so now I, I know you said on your note about a hashtag crossing. I never, I didn't see it in all the stuff, but then I saw it when I was, this, she wanted this seersucker. I saw it when I put it away. So <laughs> when I was going through it to get everything ready to send back to you. So I just put it on the back. Hope that's okay. Uh, but so this was one of the things she requested too. So that's the first roll. Um, I guess I should measure it for you.
So I think I'm gonna take a little break on the snippet rolls right now, um, just because I've been exhausted doing it and I don't have any more that I've really said I would do except for one Christmas one that I can do at my leisure. Um, but I'm just tired and if you can see my room, I really have to pick it up and it's gonna take me forever to do that. So anyway, so I have to take a break if you would be so kind to let me take a break. I'm having some of my, my, my husband made me some really great uh, latte, I think. So just a minute, try not to make a noise. Okay, I hope I didn't make a swallow noise. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go from right about here. Oh, you guys, our koi are so huge. Okay, so 30 inches, this one. Okay, sorry, I hit you again. I'm do this. Okay, that's 30 inches. I Like I said, I never measure these. I, I want to do another video. Um, start at one and do another video. Some A friend of mine gave me a bunch of felt and some what is it called? Needle felting. I want to kind of try that. I tried some yesterday. And look, I got big owies on my fingers. <laughs> but I kind of want to try that. So um, I have a couple things I want to try new. So, you know, that's how that goes. But anyway, so that's the first one. That was for Catherine. I'm going to roll it up. Here, I'll let you look at this other one like this a little bit. Um, let's go back up like, like this. So this is the next roll. Um, this was for her daughter, I believe, and it's a blue and green. Now, what's really interesting about this this uh, gal, she's uh, colorblind. And, you know, it's real rare for a woman to get colorblind because, uh, you know, it runs, the color color colorblind gene runs in the wife's side, like the woman's side. So, like, my son is colorblind, Um which I didn't even know we had any color blindness in my family. Uh, but yeah, so he's colorblind. But for a, for a girl to get it, she's got to have both two color, color gene, color blind genes, which is, so it's a recessive trait. So that's kind of interesting. So apparently she, see, she, she sees blue and green pretty well. So um, that was what she wanted for blue and green. Let me see here, the blue and green one. Let's see. And what I did, um, Catherine, as I checked, this is for Rebecca. What I did was I checked off all the all the things that you really wanted. So I was sure to put those in. Okay, so isn't this a beautiful fabric? This is a fabric that I put in the inside of um, the first one I just showed, Rebecca's. Isn't it beautiful? Really great fabric. And then this was some lace uh, variegated um crochet that her I think that one of the grandmas did maybe or great grandma I can't believe here's one of the grapes I just put it on here uh, and then inside I just used part of something <laughs> you sent me so much stuff you guys she sent a huge box of stuff okay oh now look at this isn't this cute okay so let's put this over here like this we're gonna zoom zoom you in a bit so now the edge of this put this right over here this was part of something that was in her stuff. This big rosette, isn't it beautiful? So I used it for the closure. And I just, oh, I love it. First of all, I love this color. And I just put it on for the closure. Again, this is more of the chiffonny stuff. And as always, I think if you've watched any of my videos, you're um, fine for you to, if you took it off, it's just tied gently under here. If you take it off, then you can just put whatever you want on there. So here we go. So exciting. So now this one. Now I did a couple cute things on here and I hope you like it. I don't know. I hope you don't think I'm too cheeky, but I'm going to bring you in a little bit. I hope this all looks good. So other than what other people do, I like watch this all the way through and see if I think it's coherent enough for anybody to hear and or if it looks good. So, so this one's for Rebecca, I believe she said, right? Yes. Okay, this is for Rebecca. And Rebecca, uh, let's see, she loves Irish stuff. She loves medieval fiber arts. Uh, so um, so I interpreted it, a lot of the things she sent me for her. Now I'm going to try and move this down a bit. Like, here we go. So, so this was in her thing, and I can't remember what it was on. Because by the time you cut everything up, who can remember? Oh, I don't have to hold it. Hopefully it's all doing that. Okay, over here, this is a little... Um, 
Celtic knot Irish ribbon thingy I put on there. Um, oh yeah, I forgot. So this is lace from her mom's wedding shoes she sent me. <laughs> so I cut out some of the hearts out of it and put it, put them on here. I wonder if I put that on yours. Did you ask me for that? I can't remember. If I didn't, I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, so here's a, another clover off of the Irish lace that I own. Where's the thing? My hands. The nails, I have really thin nails. They started bending back, so I just chopped them off. I haven't done anything to them. I used to get my nails done all the time. Can you believe that? I don't know if you care to know that. but uh, So under here, this is probably, see, I don't remember all the fabric. Here's one of the stars. There's some ribbon rose, the ri 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 ribbon knots I made. Oh, that's the S. Do that's the S. She wanted an, the S on there from I don't know if it was a great grandma's or who's. Uh, a cave. Uh, so her initials R F K. So I I just scattered down around these initials. Okay, this is also one of those. Um, that was a really cute applique. I can't think of the word, man. Okay. This is really old. Like I said, this is a turn of the century, maybe a little older. This is um, this is what it looks like. I happen to have one sitting here. I don't know. I got to put it away. But see, this is what it looks like, like this. So they're really cute. I like to add them on. I have a few left. Um, so I added it on here. I hope you can see it. I can't see the aperture. The thing is right there. I can't see. <laughs> I hope you saw that. Okay, so that's right here. This is more of that cut work, um, handmade, lacy stuff from the early 1900s so here's our little button garden I put a bee little button little uh, buttons different this is this might be an old what's that I always forget the name of the oh, one of the first plasticky things I forget the name this is pearl 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 this is a really pretty glass look at that glass and pearl this is um, it has gold flecking on it I hope you can see that there that is, I have it written down. That is a, it's an antique Czech green gold glass button. So um, it's rare. They said this one's rare to find. So, uh, you know, I have a few of those. Perfect. Here's that little bird. So cute, right? So cute. Um, so, you know, just, this is a really pretty little crocheted flower there. Crocheted flower there. Crocheted flower over here. I think I'm getting you all in there. Okay, so we move over here now. Uh, here's a cute birdie here. And then we've got some of the, she wanted, she likes this, uh, because she's Irish, she likes this. This is an old shamrock. I can't remember what she said about it. And I, you don't want to hear me read it. Anyway, it's shamrock she sent. Um, this is just little pieces of things. Little diddly diddly. <laughs> um, let's see. Another shamrock here. There's an R. These are French lingerie tags. Uh, super old. Um, this is my, was mine. It's a suffix puff. Um, vintage. So it's at least 50 years old. Because you can tell. There's some of the shirt of her dad poking out here. I think he is no longer alive. Get this off. Is that a thing? I got to poke out that <laughs> sorry guys okay sorry man I have a wire here because my phone was running out of juice so every time I hit that wire it hits you I'm sorry okay there's an R so she had wanted her birth date is 28 so I just put it inside of one of the tattings uh that she sent 28 in there and then you know just made it so this is more of that flower thing remember on the other one so it was like it had little goldeny flowers and little blue flowers so this is super old stuff this is it has an it has a K, an f right here what was rfk and this okay so let me look at this really close i don't think this is i think this might be something else not an r okay so the f goes like this like this right like this and like that and comes down this looks like it could have been another F, but to me, I didn't really see this part. I didn't know how to take that out, but it looks sort of like an R too. So it's the F, I don't know. It's like it could be an R. Some from her mama's uh, shoe, wedding shoe right here. Uh, more of the Irish lace that was mine I put in there. Also this veil under, under everything with the little rhinestone. Over here, her mom made this. Um, 
uh, Irish knot. So that's here. And the little rope is also here somewhere. Let me find that because I know you wanted that too. This is some fabric I had that looked at Irish to me. This is more of that cut work stuff. On the back, we put the fabric that you wanted with my little thingy there. But let's see, I have the rope somewhere. What did I do with that rope? She made a rope too that was on a bag that had this on there. So I did incorporate it. You, you said to me, you wanted me to incorporate it if I could, and I did. I just don't know where it is. Oh, it's down here. So I put it right here in the button guard. I put it right here, like here and here. So as stocks. Okay, so that one's done. Look how pretty. And look at this blue green color. Okay, so we're going to go. Let's measure this one. Did you guys ever go? It was right here. I just had it right here, this stuff. Oh, my. Pam, what do you do with stuff? Okay, sorry, guys. Just adore this for a minute. <laughs> oh, here it is. Okay, here we go. You have to understand the camera is very close to me here, so I, it's hard for me not to hit it. Okay, I'm gonna go like this. Right, no, this. Right, so let's start here at zero, and I don't think you need to see me measuring it, but I'm not, I don't, I'm not very good at movies. Just saying, this one is 28 inches, so it's a little bit shorter. It has a lot more. I think it has some more. I don't know. We'll see how it looks when it rolls up. <laughs> So that was this one and was for her daughter, Rebecca. I really like how all these turned out. I think they turned out cute. It still sticks out too, so it's weird how, it's weird how when you make stuff, here, you can look at this one now. This is the next one, you can look at this one. Maybe like this, we'll go like this, we'll come up. Oh, sorry, like this. Okay, the next one is a gold and, now this was interesting. This was gold. It was gold, black, and cream. <laughs> uh, so, which was interesting. I guess they are all like artists too. Like some, they do art. They're they're artists too. And um, and I don't know. They. This is one of her daughters that doesn't like color. I guess I, I can't remember what she said. Anyway, so this is gold. Look at this beautiful gold fabric. Um, this was her mother or her mother's, it was somebody's um, morning veil. So morning as in M-O-U-R, morning. And so I just put a piece of it here. I have some on the, on the roll too, but it's just sort of right here. Um, I made a pocket here. This fabric, I, I kept a teeny piece of this fabric too. It was just really fun. I thought it was silk, but she said it was a faux silk. So um, here's the inside. A fabric that she sent to let's see if we can see in there has like I think she might have just got married and lives in New Orleans I think and uh, so this is like look at all the musical stuff and then the front I made this here I mean I, I made this right here duh. little roughly things uh, this was part of a Barbie dress or something that she had made when they were kids and so um, that's what that is kind of this kind of reminds me of Jack Skellington, this October Jack Skellington. So, and then this is just pretty stuff that was part of the thing she sent. This was, I had printed out um, on some fabric, some music stuff. And I remembered I had it, so I just put that there. And then this was one of her, this is one of her little, um, I'm really into the X's. This is a little handkerchief here. I'm really into the X's right now. Ariana Zucker, Zucker. Uh, does that and I just really love the X's are my new favorite thing there's a lot of X's and this was left over this is some kind of sari I had from somewhere um and I just put it on the back but I put it on backwards so that when she opens it you can see how pretty it is okay that's pretty much that here's the roll now I didn't have I didn't have a black um roll and I thought this dark blue looked pretty dark anyway so that's what the roll is this is some sorry, that same sorry piece over there. This was piece of that sorry. So I happen to have some of that sorry silk. Oh, so this is so fun. Okay, here we go. So um, like I said, this is part of that Barbie dress. I did a lot of uh, gold threads, which you guys, I hate the gold thread. You, if, you, if you do any embroidery, you know how difficult that is. The gold threads are not so fun. Not fun at all. 
Let's see, I get everything in here. Well, okay, I forgot what she said her name was. Maybe it's on here. Let's look at the papers. Sarah, her name is Sarah, and she has a bunch of names. And so, one, two, three, she has five names. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we did our best. This, this button, man, I was hoarding it, but I went ahead and used it here because I thought it looked so pretty. It's a, um, let me find the name of this. And that's the blue and white one. This is the blue and gold one. Okay, so this here is called an antique. This one here, check glass. Um, wait, that's the, that's the green one. Wait, where'd it go? This says gold, and then it has guidance away. I wrote it somewhere. How come I don't see where it is? This is an ant. This is a, it's a, it's a, it's a glass. Why? I wrote this down. Why don't, uh, vintage check glass. That must be it. I guess it's under the gold. Green laundry tags. Handmade. Oh, the one's called needle lace and it's from the uh, 20th century early. Um, so this is an antique check glass button, this one. And believe it or not, it's sort of a uh, peachy color. But it looks beautiful. Oh, now, isn't this funny? Did she say she lived in Georgia? Oh, no, New Orleans. Never mind. Scratch that thought. Okay. So in here is a bunch of this stuff. Um, I had just gotten to in a bunch of gold stuff. I don't know if I used much of it. I wanted to, probably underneath and stuff. But so I was able to use that, some of the stuff, gold things that I got in from Johnny. Hi, Johnny. Uh, so this is from her mommy's shoe. Uh, here's initial S, and then there. this is the big S that the grandma made. Over here is the um, Irish lace that I have. And then it's just stitching. This is one of those um, uh, shamrocks that she had. I have got the K here. This K, and it looks like, to me, it looks like it, it sends upright. If it's upright like this, it's supposed to be a... It looks like a K and a weird N, so I don't know, but just ignore that. It's a K. <laughs> and like I said before, those are um, Swiss lingerie medallions. How's that? And a lot of that. Um, now, you have to understand. I remember Rachel saying once, oh, just turn it this way. i got to tell you about this one thing right in a minute, but um, where is it at? Right, we're on here. So she sent me a lot of things that were iron on things and oh I put a few of them on here uh, because you know they went nicely but this was really hard I remember Rachel said about me she she goes through the most the most thick things and that's true man I almost killed myself going through pliers and everything but I got it on there for you <laughs> I'm gonna say never again am I gonna do those <laughs> unless someone really begs me <laughs> sounds bad right I'm sorry here's an R uh, you see the R. Duh. Where's my thing to point with? Okay. So this is more the, um, this from her shoe. More the shoe. Um, and then this. Now let me tell you this. I had this from somewhere. I think it came in. Somebody sent it to me. And I wanted to, I, I, and it had a crown on it. So I embroidered a cr over the crown. But there is a gold crown on this bird. And the reason I wanted to put this on here, uh, Catherine, is that you said that that Sarah is the queen. Let me see what you said. I'm going to read it. She said she is the German Irish. Just a minute. I'm reading it. Reading it. Uh, let me see. Somewhere, I'm pretty sure I read this. Look at I can't even. She said something like her being the queen of finding the shamrocks, like in stores and stuff. Well, I could have sworn she said that. I hope she said I think you said that. <laughs> I double-checked several times. Probably read the wrong one. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure you said it here. I'm sorry I'm making you sit here because I'm reading. I'm very dyslexic, so it got, gets hard. Um, she's the queen of finding the four-leaf clovers. So she's seen him on numerous times on old white linen. So I, because she said that she was the queen of finding the clovers, here's a clover that she wanted on there. 
And I had this hanging around. I thought, oh, I'm going to put that on there because it's like she's the queen. This little birdie's the queen. <laughs> I don't know. See, that's just how it come up. And it's black and white. It's perfect, right? So, yeah, that's why I did that. All that to explain that. Okay. And here's another. This is a K. The other one was an R. This is a K. That was an S. So, oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Oh, man. I'm, I'm desperate today. These buttons came from the, the dad's sweater. So um, instead of having the green part of the sweater, she wanted the buttons on there. She had this little lace with a, this is the first time I, I've only done a few times where I had something loose like this. So I left this loose and it's a little ho horse linen, I think on the, oh, that's why this is on here. Yeah, because this is the rest of the hanky that had the horse, uh, the guy in the horse. So, um, so I just put this here, just kind of hanging out. This is some of the stuff I got from Johnny. It's like gold. Uh, they sort of look like crosses, but they're those. And to me, they look medievalish. This kind of thing. So, I scattered those around. You sent, um, Catherine. You sent some sort of. Uh, you sent, like a little thing that had this beautiful stitching on there. So I just added some of that in here. Um, Eleven was her number that she wanted. Did you have a number for your other? Did I put a number on there? Oh, I can't remember. Anyway, see here? Um, this is more of the handmade Irish lace. Now, what I did here was I made a flower out of this fabric. Um, she told me about this fabric. Let's see what she said about the fabric. She said, hmm, you said something about that fabric. The gold fabric is something she used in some of their reenactments. They do a lot of um, things like that, reenactments or something. I can't remember. It all jumbles into one. Anyway, that's the gold. So I just made a flower out of the gold and put it here. This, oh, I put these on. Now this one, I didn't do a button garden. I just scattered some pretty buttons around. This one is a black, one of those black, it's glass. And it's, let's see if we can move it where you can see it. It's really hard to see because it's black. Let's see. Let's see if I can see it right here. It's black and it's all glass, really pretty. It's called, it's a morning, uh, morning, M-O-U-R-I-N-G, the glass button for like clothing and stuff like that way back in the day. Uh, really pretty right there. I had a few of those. I don't think I put them all on here, but um, uh, crocheted, obviously. This came off of something I cut out and I used it on one of the other rolls whatever was inside. I liked it that it made it look like a frame, so I just sewed it back on like this and put this little guy in there because it's black. Um, oh, and the the veil thing is right in here. It might be down somewhere else too. It's hard because everything gets covered upon covering and covering and it gets, you know. So here's like, this is the veil that you wanted. I put one of my, this is a label here, you can't really see it, but it was black and silver under here. Oh, this was the grape, grape leaf. I did the grape, these grapes here that were thick, I cut them in half and like stitched them on so that they, cause they were so thick. Cause already I had the star. And when you see down here, I had the cross. That's what really killed my hands, just saying. <laughs> and uh, so this is the cross she wanted, but it was an iron on too. So this, this almost killed me doing this. <laughs> <laughs> but so yeah that's there this is some of the stuff from Johnny this little goldeny stuff under here and this is her number four and yeah I think I don't know if I said everything about it but this is the roll and I really this is my favorite I think of everything <laughs> so yes they're done Catherine oh this one I'm, let me measure I'm gonna let's we're gonna guess it's around 30 or 28. It's always the same like this. I'm sorry. Like this. So this is gonna be how big? This is a uh, 31. So they're all about the same size. So what I do, guys, when I make these, I tear a piece. In this case, she um she sent a pillowcase where she wanted something off of it to be on. And so it was a great, it's a great size to do for the backing fabric. So I just tear strips the size of it. And if it's, it's pretty close, like see this turned out super close right here. Let's go up some so we don't have to look at all this go up. So let's say it's, you know, super close. Then 
that's fine. If I take note that anything is too much smaller, then I let things go over the edge, you know, to fill it in. So that's, um, that's what I do. So yeah. So I've got these three done and I'm going to get those packaged off to her. And I think I've told you everything. I told you about the palm tree. Oh yeah, the needle felting. I can't wait to try that. I'm going to really get into that. I'm going to try it anyway. I want to try it. So anyway, I'll see you guys. Uh, I hope to be back. I want to do some crafting. I, I thought I would do, well, maybe I'll stop the video and do another one super quick so I can put that up about what I want to do with Rachel's thing. Okay, so see you later. Bye. Bye, bye-bye. Okay, so the wind is crazy and this palm tree finally fell down. Check it out like this. And then, oh man, on top of this shed that's gone. Can you believe this? Look over here, I'll go over here. Man, this is a really scary day. I knew I heard something big. Go over here. Where does it even go? In it just broke clean over, it just, what's in here? I'm sorry, it's getting all really, what's in there? Look at that. It just broke clean off. Wow. I'll bet, I wonder if it's... Okay, well, there you go.